Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a Celtic cross for you. We're going to do a reading for the new moon in Libra. Uh, new moon in Libra bringing sort of justice, balance, uh, balancing out the karma, uh, we hope anyway. Whatever's unfair being uh, brought to light. Um, 2020 as it's been, you know, um, just to add good measure, we'll uh, we'll throw in a Mars retrograde for a bit of tension and uh, a bit of Mercury retrograde for uh, miscommunication, just to you know throw a spanner in the works. We'll be fine, don't worry. Okay, so thank you for the like, shares, and subscribe. The channel's really growing. Uh, we're not far off 2,000 subscribers now, so thank you. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway at 2,000. So if you want to be in a chance for winning a free reading, I'm going to choose three winners. Just like, share. Um, subscribe and comment on one of the uh, new moon in Libra videos. I forgot to mention this to uh, Gemini and Taurus, so if you're, you are Gemini and Taurus and watching this, I apologise. Um, your next reading, I'll give you an option there to uh, to do so. So, let's see what we got. And you can check this out for your moon, rising, Venus, even you can check your Mercury and your Mars um, placements for further messages. Right. And feel free to reach out for a private reading. Details are in the description box. Enough blabbering on earth. What have we got? For Leo. I just pictured the hermit, so some of you could be the other. Virgo. The chariot, taking charge. Cancer energy, could be the other cancer. Um. I kind of feel like you're on the lines of fate. You're on the track for destiny here, for something. Let me get the rest out and we'll discuss what's crossing you. The root, the past, what you want, the future, how you see yourself, how others see you, advice, and outcome. Okay. Seven of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, Judgment, Knight of Wands, Justice. Balance is coming, you could be dealing with Libra, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer possibly. I think somebody's returning from your past, um, but you need to protect your energy from them. And I don't mean protect your energy as in like, Tell them where to go. I mean, um, take things slowly. We've got the Knight of Pentacles here. The Seven of Wands, I just see this person is defending themselves, where they're just not defending themselves, just protecting themselves, protecting their energy, protecting their bubble. So we've got the Chariot. You know, this is forward movement, um, divinely guided. Uh, crossing this is the Eight of Wands. Again, very divinely guided for me. It's a universe, it's believing in the universe. It's a very mystical, very magical card in this deck. Um, both of them are fast movements, so something that's coming in pretty quick for you in this new moon. Root of the issue is five of wands, so there's been some conflict. Um, your person probably put you in a bit of drama, possibly. Um, or this could be, you know, rules reversed, however it fits with you. In the recent past is the Page of Swords. This is the person spying on you, or you spying on them. I'm gonna say, judging by the rest of the cards, it's you that's been spying on them and you're worried about the outcome here. What you want is the Four of Cups. Um, and I feel like you feel it's a, dis it's a missed opportunity here, but you know that one full cup is still remaining. You know, you have got that ability to offer that Ace of Cups. Uh, you're possibly dissatisfied in your current situation. If you're currently with somebody yeah, I just looked, cut the deck in half and it was the Ace of Cups, so I feel like you're discontented, you offered your love somewhere else with this Five of Wands drama and I feel like there's a bit of regret there now. Um, what's coming into the future is the Six of Swords, it's forward movement, um, moving to Karma Shores. You could be seeing a lot of crows or blackbirds for some of you. It's just standing out to me there. If you do, that's your angels telling you that you're on the right path. 
you're making the right decisions. Um, how you see yourself is the world. I think Saturn's testing you now. I think you're having your karmic lessons, I feel. Um, kind of feel like you're seeing where you went wrong, possibly. How others see you is the death card. I think you've gone through a big transformation. Um, we've got Capricorn energy with the world. I, I read the Capricorn with the world just because Saturn rules Capricorn. Um, the death card, sorry about that. Um, had to attend to something. Okay, so yeah, they see you as completely changed. So I kind of feel like you've gone through a big transformation. I think Saturn's kind of forced this upon you. Um, and I kind of feel like this has been going on a while, but things are really starting to balance out for you. Um, your advice is the Nine of Swords. Your, your dark night of the soul is over. Um, you know, you've got the um, the light chasing away the dark here. Um, it's, you've come to the end. You've done your dark night of the soul. You've done your transformation. You've been judged by Saturn. Um, and it's time to move forward with the Six of Swords here. You seeing the birds is going to clarify that. You're going you're gonna to know. You're going to see the birds and you're going to know. You're going to think of this video and you're going to say, yeah, there they are. Um, you've passed your test. The outcome is the Six of Cups with the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. A lot of emotional happiness. Uh, this per the past person's returning and the one that you, I feel like you regret not moving forward with to begin with. It's going to bring complete happiness with the Ten of Cups and it's bring, bringing emotional fulfilment with the King of Cups here. Could be dealing with a, a water sign uh, or ha heavy water in the chart. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it looks good. I think you've gone through a dark night of the soul. You're coming out the other end. Uh, and Saturn's going to reward you with um, complete happiness. Beautiful. Let's get some clarifiers. Make sure I'm not away, of course. Three more. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands with the Devil and the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cup. Cups. Um, so yeah, beautiful. Um, you're getting there. You fought your demons. You've got a lot of passion for this person. Uh, a lot of kind of lust, I would say as well. Um, but I kind of feel like this is an ending of your single life now. If you're um, not in partnership, or you haven't been in partnership in for a while, you're gonna be pretty soon. Uh, could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, but yeah, things are things are moving in the right direction for you. Okay, the chariot um, is clarified by the Six of Swords. You, you make a forward movement now to where you want to be. You know, your future was this Six of Swords, wasn't it? Um, you're charging in the right direction now. You could physically be moving house, actually, for some of you. Which is good. Well, if you need to be. You're moving towards your person, by the way. Crossing you is the Ace of Wands with the Queen of Swords. I kind of feel like... Um, there was no forward movement, that's what was crossing, that was holding you back. Um, there was a stalemate, I kind of feel like you were not talking to each other. Um, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or may have that in your chart. Um, they were just... Energies were cut, essentially. Root of the matter is the Five of Wands with the Nine of Cups. Um, and I apologise in advance for this, but I kind of feel like maybe the root of the issues were possibly selfish behaviour on your part if the energies are switched you know um, I take it how it resonates but I'm reading for you so I'm going to say maybe a bit of selfish behaviour on your part is what um, has been the root cause of the issue in the past is the page of swords and judgement you've had a, a realisation about this person you've watched them and you've made that decision now that you know what they were for you four of cups is what you want with the magician you still have this cup of love to offer and you're trying your best to manifest this into reality. I'm taking another card for that. So we're going to get the Queen of Wands. You're taking action. Good stuff. 
there's a there's a strong magnetic pull between you. It could be the younger Pisces. That's the problem with that deck now. There's a strong magnetic pull between you. Uh, very strong sexual energy. I feel. Um, you know, you both fancy each other. Very sexually attracted. Um, your future is the Six of Swords with the Six of Wands, and I'm going to pass you over from there to my Twin Flame reading, and that was the exact outcome when the Divine Masculine contacts the Divine Feminine. You could very easily be the Divine Masculine in this uh, scenario. Again, like I say, take it how it fits. It could be the other way around. But this is forward movement and it's victory. You know, we've got the Six of... Um, we've got 666 six, six here. Um, but we've also got... Uh, chariot forward movement to victory six of wands victory you know you're heading in the right direction how you see yourself is the world and the empress you've done your you've done your um, saturn's test and you're balancing your feminine and your masculine energy um again this could you could be the divine feminine in fact because this is how you see yourself so you could be the divine feminine you've come into your own you're waiting on your divine masculine now which is coming Okay. How they see you is the death card, complete transformation with the three of wands. Now, the death and the three of wands, you know, they both have the number three in them, card number 13 and card number three. Um, they're very well linked. You've transformed uh, to be able to bring wishes into reality, I would kind of say there. The nine of swords, um, what I said earlier, this is the end of your dark night of the soul. You know, you've got the light chasing away the dark. If you've ever caught my videos before, um, I'm the only, well, as far as I'm aware anyway, the only tarot reader that's come across. I just, this is what I do. If I get the Ace of Swords clarifying a card, it just means spirit saying you were, you were completely right the first time. Only when I'm clarifying. Obviously, if I pull this first, it's a different story. Um, so, yeah, you've come to the end of the dark night, so the light is chasing away the dark. Six of Cups, uh, the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups clarified by the Death card again, Temperance and the Knight of Wands. Uh, I just feel like this is past persons returning. You thought it was done and dusted. It's not. This is divinely guided. The angels are bringing you back together um, and it's going to be wish fulfillments, happiness and it's going to inject uh, an element of youth in your life. Uh, again, forward movement in passions, in sort of love. I'm going to take another card for the Knight of Wands here. Star. We're healing it all. Heals and wish fulfillment. Super. So Leo, it looks good. Again, energies could easily switch here. Um, I think you're definitely dealing, dealing with a, a divine counterpart. At least it's uh, it's universally guided anyway. The, you know, it's divine, divinely guided. Um, yeah. Things are moving in the right direction, and you know the the advice is don't worry, because your dark night of the soul is over. The transformations are complete, and uh, reconciliation is coming. Okay, uh, there's heavy Scorpio energy, Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius. Yeah, very heavy Scorpio. Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio again, yeah. So, Pisces, yeah, everybody's on the board though. We've got, you know, swords, we've got um, wands, we've got pentacles. Have we got pentacles? We've not got pentacles, oh, I'll take that back. Um, but we've got Capricorn, we've got Taurus, and we've got Virgo, so everybody's here. <laughs> So I'll keep my mouth shut. All right. Uh, let me know if it resonates, uh, Leo. Good luck of it all. You've done your work. You know, fantastic. You've had your dark night of the soul. You've come out of the other end. So fantastic and well done. Um, thank you for following the channel. And uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.